sheep and goat is a major nowadays uh, picking up industry in India because of demand of mutton is there in all over India and it, even it has a kg of uh, mutton cost about more than 350 rupees a kilo. Proper uh, maintenance of sheep and goats yields much more of uh, income for the farmers, especially the small rural household livelihood for their rare sheep and goats in their farmyard or in the backyard. Sheep and goat being affected more, about, more with uh, internal worms and external worms, that what we call as parasites. The parasites eat away the whatever the, the sheep and goat eats, they take away the major uh, portion of the nutrition and that leads to lesser growth, lesser weight gain and even the mother uh, 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 sheep and goat will not be able to fetch more of milk for the kids. So that's a regular deworming issue should be done uh, in a fashion like that. It should be done every month once. So there is a ethno veterinary practice, the farmers in Tamil Nadu, in and around Salem and Dhammapuri, they practice a method of feeding aloe vera, what we call as lolesara in Canada. That can be fed to a sheep and goat, aged about three months of age. My lolesara, that's aloe vera, can be given around 50 grams per sheep and goat every month once. And that even if it is a bigger uh, sheep and goat weighing about more than 30, 40 kgs, under, up to 100 grams uh, aloe vera can be fed continuously for a, uh, once in a month and that can be uh, practiced every month. So that take care of the worms which is there in the internal, as an internal parasite, that it removes the parasite and makes the animal healthy and keeps them healthy and even the mother can give more milk and the developing kid will be having a uh, much more weight gain. So that fetches more income to the farm. I'll show you the method of uh, how to feed uh, aloe vera to sheep and goats here. I have a pe cut piece of uh, aloe vera. I'll show you the method how to feed aloe vera to control internal parasites in sheep and goat. Now you need to take out the greener portion of the aloe vera, what is now being demonstrated now. Take out the green coloration, the leaf or part of it. The jelly portion is being cut here. Aloe vera which is being cut into pieces now, as you are seeing now. For a sheep and goat of this age, around 3 months of age, 50 grams of aloe vera can be fed to control parasites, that is internal parasites in the body of the sheep and goat. Usually the worms in sheep and goats are the round worms and the tapeworms. Especially aloe vera takes care of round worms, which is, which is seen in the sheep and goat at the earlier age of 3 months and within three months of age. Two to three pieces of aloe vera, which is approximately about 50 grams in weight, should be fed into the mouth of a sheep and goat which has to be deworked, like this, how we are showing now. And it should be put inside the mouth and the mouth should be closed so that the animal swallows the aloe vera. This practice should be done every month once. The pieces of aloe vera <coughs> which are on two or two, two, three pieces, should be fed into the mouth of the animal which is to be deworked. And after putting it inside the mouth, the mouth should be closed so that animal swallows the aloe vera. Approximately uh, age of this uh, sheep uh, goat is around three months of age and should be given around 50 grams every month once. Uh, They are the grown up, here what you are seeing is a grown up goats, aged around 1 to 1 and a half years old. They are being regularly deworn with aloe vera and other uh, products, especially the aloe vera has given much more of weight gain here, which you can observe it. This aloe vera should be fed every month once, up to six to eight months of age, and even it can be fed to a pregnant uh, sheep and goat. It doesn't cause us any abortion or anything. It's safe drug, locally available everywhere in Karnataka or in anywhere in India, and it's called as aloe vera. <laughs>